Hey guys, I'm going to a plant sale. It's early, early morning and they open up at 8.15, so I'm trying to get there early. Um, I won't be able to film inside, but I wanna show you guys what I get when I come out. This is a student project thing. So um, it, like kids, so I can't film in there in their school. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I get. Hopefully it won't get picked over because last year when I went, like I got there like an hour later and out uh, later than it opened and there was a lot of stuff gone still still I got a lot of great stuff but I'm getting there this time as soon as they open because you know the plant ladies love to get the plants and I'm a plant lady so I need to get the plant let's go okay quickly I just pulled up to the plant sale there's already people waiting outside in line so i gotta get out there's, there's it doesn't open for 15 minutes okay so i am out of there i just got home and it was chaos it's always chaos because the aisles are too small the carts are too wide and there's too many people but they had just a good basic selection of plants um and i got some good stuff i i'm excited about it i cannot wait to plant this stuff let me show you what i got all right got all of these flats i'm so excited how many are there one two three four five six seven eight flats so we've got this begonia here this is cocktail vodka whole flat of this we've got some sweet potato vines this one is called sidekick lime this one is called blackie i don't like that name i'm just gonna say that but anyway psychic lime blackie i've got a set a tray of geraniums where are they <laughs> They are, oh, there's a tag right there. Pinto Premium White, super cute. And I know I got another color in there too, a more salmon-y color. I think it's gonna be more in the front. Tray of Colises. Tray of Snapdragons, they're a mix. This is another um, couple of snapdragons here because i went back in and got extras these are the what are these gazan what are these gazanias here colas cosmos begonias these are the cocktail gin which is the same so these are the cocktail gin and then up the front are cocktail cocktail gin gosh i can't talk and then right here are the super olympia pink begonia so i this is the year of the begonia for me the year of the begonia last year was the year of the zinnia and colas i did a lot with colas last year but this year is going to be the year of the begonia and colas i'm going wild with those not to mention i have begonias growing indoors already i have tons of colas growing indoors already so this is just gonna help um, spread out some of the plants that I have and then add some extra plants. So I am so excited, I'm so excited. Let's get this stuff in the house. So here's the haul, eight trays. The plants look amazing. Um, I wanted to buy everything, but of course I cannot. But look how just, look how beautiful this is. Students grew this, like students in a um, landscaping program. They grew these. 
they're beautiful and I think they got them as plugs and they have a greenhouse and all that kind of setup. So everything looks so good. Great growth. Look at these coluses. So pretty. So let me move this. These coluses are gorgeous. Look at that. Just full. Now the coluses, I'm actually going to um, pinch them and propagate them. Um, they've got some leggy growth here, and that's perfect for pinching and propagating. These are my geraniums. So here is the other uh, flower color. This is the other type. So it's the Pinto Premium Salmon. Make sure you can see that. Along with the white right here. The white blooms. There's nowhere to move anything so I can show you. Uh, let me see. I'll move the coluses over here. <sighs> okay. So we've got the geraniums. I'll move them there. Okay. So here we have a tray of snapdragons. They are the snap teeny mix. And I tried to get um, trays that had very little, like no blooms, um, open blooms. So there was a lot that had open blooms. These guys are on their way to open, but a lot of these are not open yet. And that's what I want. I wanted them to be um, in bud. Um, I know it's nice to see pretty blooms and things like that, but um, I wanted mine to still not be in bloom. And these are all the same snap teeny mix. Here, oh, this one is super heavy. Here are my sweet potato vines. And I tried to do a mix of the yellow and the purple. Um, but yeah, this this is super heavy. These guys were a buck fifty each. Such a good price. Okay, these are the Super Olympia pink begonias. And I couldn't choose between the colors, between the red and the pink. So I just got um, a tray of each because they're beautiful. I couldn't choose. Look at that. So pretty, so full. So this is the cocktail vodka begonias. Beautiful dark foliage red salmony color blooms they are so gorgeous look at that beautiful i just love this color i love dark foliage i love light foliage too and i love variegated foliage i love all the foliages okay and lastly This was the last tray that I picked out and I picked a mixture of things. I grabbed a couple of extra um, cocktail gin begonias, some Cosmos. These, I've never grown these before or bought them before. These are the Gazania. And they had really, they had really pretty blooms. Um, the ones that were in bloom there um, were really pretty. I didn't pick any that were in bloom because I want to, uh, um, have them save their blooms for later and then I got some more snapdragons and some more coleus and so the coleus I'm going to be propagating coleus like crazy here soon so so excited so it is the next day and I want to show you guys what else I got um, yesterday evening after I picked up all these plants from the sale, but I've got these hanging baskets from Aldi's right here, and they are the best baskets. They're begonias, and I got a couple baskets last year, and they did so well. These baskets are just so densely planted that, you know, over the summer, they just get huge. They turn into this big, giant ball of begonias and they're beautiful so i decided to get the white flowers because 
I got, you know, the red, the pink, and pink over there. I wanted a different color flower. And I think these guys are stunning. They have the dark leaf. So beautiful. I love them so much. Let's see what the underside is. Still that dark green. Beautiful plants. These baskets, like, you cannot even see through to any soil in these. Like, they are so densely planted and the way that they do this is they plant tons of either cuttings or like plugs they plant tons of plugs in the pots and then they let them grow out um, in the greenhouses and this is kind of what you end up these just ginormous planters and it's the same with this here too let me show you so I got this Monstera Addisonii um, a few days ago from, no, well, last week from Lowe's. And this plant grows, this plant is a vine and each one vine is a plant. So to get a full pot like this, they have to plant so many um, cuttings in here. That's how you get a fuller plant. Now you can also like, um, chop it chop your plant you know and your plant will branch off but to get that full look that fullness you need to plant multiple cuttings or multiple full plants in a pot to get that thick full look like you see here so beautiful i absolutely am in love with these baskets and I cannot wait to see them this season. I do have a spot where they are going to go. I'm going to put them outside um, in front of my uh, screen and porch. I have hooks already set up there. And they are going to look so beautiful in those spots. Now, these guys are sun to shade. Um, I would not put them in a space where they are going to get, you know, that heavy, hot, sun i would put them in a space where they will get sun for a few hours and then they will be able to um rest in the shade because even even in my experience with begonias they are sensitive to that high west facing sun that it just gets so hot and it's so strong so just be careful with your um begonias make sure they get they do get some shade Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.